Let's now bring before God our prayers of thanks and our prayers for the world, the community, and for ourselves. Let us pray. Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, you came among us baptizing with fire and light, calling us to the true vocation of humanity to reflect the glory of our Creator. We thank you for your work among us, how you gathered, how you spoke, how you ate and drank, how you left us your spirit to lift us up and hold us in the light. We thank you because you came to us and keep coming to us because of your great love. Lord, we thank you that John took up the challenge to be your voice crying in the wilderness. We thank you for the voice you have given each one of us, the voice that will sometimes have difficult things to say. We pray that we will use it to your glory whenever and wherever you call us. We offer you our prayers for those who struggle with this season. We think of the bereaved, of those who cannot afford to celebrate as they might want, of those who hate the thought of having no one to share a table with, and of those for whom childlessness is accentuated at this time. Lord God, you understand and share tears and silences, disappointments and regrets. Bring your comfort, fill with your strength, and grant all your peace. We pray too for places in the world where conflict and violence are rife, for places where nature has been harsh and we have been thoughtless in caring for your creation. Give us greater concern for one another and an even greater willingness to do whatever we can for each other and for the world itself. So may we work with you, Lord God, to make this world the world you intended it to be, a world where people care and love and laugh, a world where justice reigns and peace is evident, and where all know they belong. A world of hope, a world of joy. In a moment of quiet prayer, we also bring our own concerns to you, and for all who are on our minds and in our hearts at this time. These prayers, along with our gratitude for the birth of your Son, we offer you in his name and for his sake. Amen. Our final hymn for this time of worship is Long Ago, Prophets New. <laughs> 